Have you ever wondered, why are Africans black? It's a question people often think about, but few truly understand. Some whisper it, others avoid it altogether, and sadly, many never get a clear answer. But today, we're going to change that. Because the answer isn't just about skin, it's about science, history, and survival. It's about how the human body adapted to thrive in one of the most powerful environments on Earth, Africa. We're talking about sunlight, genetics, ancient migration, and something called melanin, the magic ingredient in your skin that holds a story millions of years old. So if you've ever looked in the mirror or looked at the world and wondered why people look so different and where those differences even came from, stay right here. Because by the end of this video, you'll not only understand why Africans are black, but why it's one of the most remarkable examples of human adaptation in history. And spoiler alert, it's got nothing to do with race and everything to do with survival. Ready? Let's dive in. So, let's start with the basics. What is melanin? Melanin is the pigment that gives your skin, eyes, and hair their color. But it's not just about looks. It's also your body's natural sunscreen. You see, in places where the sun is very strong, like many parts of Africa, the body produces more melanin to protect itself. The sun's ultraviolet, UV, rays can damage DNA, cause skin cancer, and destroy a vital nutrient called folic acid, which is especially important for pregnant women and unborn babies. So, over thousands of years, the human body adapted. To survive the harsh sun, it increased melanin production. The result? Darker skin, strong, rich, and beautifully designed to absorb sunlight without harm. Think of it like this. Melanin is nature's armor, shielding your body, protecting your cells, and keeping your bloodline going strong. And here's something even cooler. Melanin doesn't just block UV rays. It also acts like a natural antioxidant. It helps fight inflammation and supports the immune system. So, in Africa, dark skin isn't random. It's the product of intelligent biological design. The deeper the melanin, the greater the defense. That's why Africans, especially those near the equator, tend to have darker skin than people in colder regions. But what happened when early humans left Africa? Scientists agree, all humans originally came from Africa. It's not just a theory anymore. Fossil records and DNA studies confirm it. Africa is called the cradle of mankind for a reason. But as humans began to migrate, moving north into Europe, Asia, and beyond, their environment changed. In those colder, cloudier places, sunlight was weaker, and the intense protection of melanin wasn't as necessary. In fact, too much melanin made it harder to absorb enough sunlight to produce vitamin D, another nutrient the body needs to stay healthy. So what did evolution do? It adapted again. Over many generations, human skin began to lighten, not because of race, but because of sunlight. Less melanin meant the body could make enough vitamin D in darker climates. That's why people from northern regions, like Scandinavia or Russia, tend to have very light skin. And why people closer to the equator, in Africa, South India, or Papua New Guinea, often have darker tones. It's not about one color being better or worse. It's about survival, nutrition, and sunlight. That's it. So when we ask, why are Africans black? The answer is surprisingly simple. Because they never had to leave the sun. Their skin is a beautiful reflection of where their ancestors thrived, under Africa's bold, brilliant sky. Let's take this even deeper with science. Did you know that skin color is controlled by multiple genes, not just one? Some of the key ones include MC1R, SLC24A5, TYR, and OCA2. Each of these plays a role in how much melanin your body produces. Now here's what's fascinating. Scientists have discovered that dark skin is the original human skin color. It's not a variation. It's the starting point. How do we know? Because Africa has the greatest genetic diversity on Earth. That means if you trace human DNA backward through time, all roads lead to Africa. The earliest humans had dark skin, not light. In fact, lighter skin tones only appeared much later, as an adaptation to colder climates and lower sunlight. So, when you think about it, white skin is actually the mutation. Black skin is the original. That's not opinion. That's genetics. A groundbreaking study published in the journal Science found that some African populations carry both ancient and newly evolved skin color genes, showing just how deep and complex African DNA truly is. This proves one thing. Dark skin didn't come after. 
It came first. And that changes everything, doesn't it? It's time we see skin color for what it really is, a map of where our ancestors walked and how they survived. Let's clear up some of the biggest lies ever told about skin color. For centuries, people were taught that darker skin meant you were less intelligent, less civilized, or less human. That's not just false, it's dangerous. And it was used to justify slavery, colonization, and racism around the world. But none of those ideas are based in science, logic, or truth. In fact, the opposite is true. Dark skin is not a sign of being less evolved. It's a sign of being first. It's the skin tone of the earliest humans, the blueprint from which all other colors came. Don't let color fool you. Skin is biology, not destiny. It doesn't decide how smart you are, how talented you are, or what your future holds. We don't judge trees by the color of their leaves. So why do we judge humans by the color of their skin? It's time to move past false ideas and embrace facts. Skin color is a product of adaptation. Nothing more, nothing less. And every shade, from the deepest brown to the lightest ivory, tells a story about survival, sunlight, and history. But for black people around the world, that story comes with a powerful legacy. Being black isn't just about biology. It's about legacy. It's about carrying the heritage of powerful kingdoms like Egypt, Mali, Ethiopia, and ancient Nubia, civilizations that built pyramids, developed writing systems, led global trade, and mastered astronomy long before Europe entered the picture. It's about remembering that black skin once ruled empires and still holds that regal power in its reflection. From kings and queens to scholars and warriors, the sun-kissed skin of Africa has always carried greatness. Blackness means rhythm. It means resilience. It means royalty. And even after centuries of slavery, colonialism, and oppression, black communities around the world have continued to rise in science, politics, sports, music, and more. You see, melanin isn't just a pigment. It's a badge of survival, a marker of ancestry, and a reflection of greatness passed down through generations. When you understand this, you stop seeing dark skin as something to explain and start seeing it as something to celebrate. Black is not something to be tolerated. It's something to be treasured. And once you know your history, you'll wear your skin like the crown it truly is. So, why does any of this matter today? Because understanding why Africans are black isn't just about science. It's about healing. It's about breaking the chains of racism, shame, and self-hate that have followed black people for generations. When you know that your skin color is rooted in strength, in survival, and in intelligent design, you stop seeing it as something to hide or explain. You start seeing it for what it truly is, a gift. You walk taller because you know your skin was made for greatness. You speak wiser because you understand the legacy you carry. You love deeper because you no longer see yourself as less than, but rather as a reflection of the very first humans to walk the earth. Knowing why you are black helps you walk taller, live wiser, and love deeper. That's why it matters. Because when black people understand the power of their origin, and when others respect that truth, the world becomes less divided and more united. This is how we change the narrative, one truth at a time. So, let's bring it all together. Why are Africans black? Because nature made it that way. To thrive, to shine, to survive. It's not a flaw. It's not a curse. It's not even a choice. It's a masterpiece, crafted by time, climate, and wisdom. And whether you're Afro-Caribbean, African-American, Afro-Brazilian, or part of the global African diaspora, that legacy lives in you. Your skin carries the sun. Your bloodline carries the earth. And your story, your real story, began with brilliance, not bondage. So now I ask you, what did you learn today that surprised you? What challenged the way you've always thought about skin color? Leave a comment below, we read everyone. And if you believe this truth needs to be heard, to uplift, to educate, and to break generational lies, then hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with someone proud of their roots. Until next time, stay curious, stay proud, and stay walking in truth.